Well, hello again. I hope 2022 is going well for you so far. And finally, I've fulfilled a long-held ambition to generate a video about the construction of the steel span for the third crossing. Here it is. It's longer than usual. Please stay till the end because there are facts and figures about the bridge. Looking at the third crossing's steel spans, it's easy to forget just how it got there. But I'm going to remedy that and show you. Although there was substantial activity much earlier, it was in the snows of February that the first steel sections appeared. Shortly afterwards, Iron workers placed the first seal sections on Pier 19 and a bent to the east, while preparing a second bent or crossbeam to the west of Pier 19. This western bent would support the second set of beams. Note that it's an inside beam placed first to allow bracing to be present on either side. Anticipating the need, iron workers prepare another bent to the east of the growing structure and install a supporting structure atop the existing beams. A steady stream of beams arrive throughout late winter and early spring. The whole structure grows steadily and in early April Beams linking the two existing sections are installed and their successors wait patiently in the laydown. On the north side of the laydown, the yellow platforms known as angel wings have also arrived in Kingston. Struts and cross braces are positioned immediately following every installation, as can be seen here. The blue buckets you see contain engineered bolts and the largest joint on the bridge has 304. Every beam arrives flat on a trailer. It must then be turned to the vertical to be swung into place in a very controlled manner. where iron workers ensure that it's precisely placed and securely fastened. Then, the work of installing and reinforcing struts and braces begins again. It's early April and 12 steel sections are in place, a full quarter of the complete steel span. Deliveries continue and work to prepare the new vents or cross beams takes place. And the next extension will be to the west, while other beams remain in the laydown awaiting placement. Before very long, another piece is in place and the bracing cables are being attached. Then, although a second piece is prepared, High winds and weather intervene, and a lift has to be postponed. Snow in the third week of April doesn't affect the waiting steel at all. A day or two later, despite the weather, a second is placed, and by the end of the month, all four are in place. The next section to be installed will take us east towards Pier 20. Before long, a second beam is in the air and approaching the beam to its west where three complex joints must mate precisely. Typically, the crane operator cannot see the joint and relies on extremely clear direction by radio from the iron workers. 
with 48 steel beams, 7 bents and 4 piers, millimetric precision of placement is absolutely critical. By May 7th the section is complete and they're lifting in the angel wing work platforms. A broader view reveals that all of the work so far has been based on Pier 19. And attention turns briefly to the installation of the steel projections that will support the eastern lookout platform. Meanwhile, iron workers are placing the sixth bent beside Pier 18 and completing work on the pads that will support the beams on the pier itself. During the same busy week, bonnets are placed on bent 7 and it's completed, ready for service. Before the week is out, a new section of steel beams begins to take shape. Based on Pier 18. A second beam follows shortly and is secured in place. Then, with the support provided, a new piece of steel bridging the gap between Pier 18 and Bent 5 is swung into place. Back to the east, iron workers are placing supporting struts under the projecting fingers on the lookout platform. By month's end, all four pieces are in place and we can really begin to see the steel span taking shape. Note the two beams waiting on the trestle. Rather than bridging the obvious gap, these will push westwards directly over Pier 18. A second beam is swung into place the same day, while up on Highway 15, more steel is arriving and running down Gore Road. These massive web sections will run from Bent 6 to Bent 7. With that section in place, it was time to bridge the gap between Bents 4 and 5, a ticklish task with joints at either end that must match perfectly. It's a great testament to everybody involved in the production, processing and installation of the beams that they rarely needed any adjustment. Careful preparation and meticulous attention to detail probably played a large part in this achievement. The final beam of the penultimate section swung into place on June the 14th. Just over a week later, it was time to lift the first of the last four beams into place to meet Pier 17. Although accuracy was no less essential, this was certainly a much easier union than those between two steel beams. The dimensions of the last three steel beams to arrive demanded the use of transport with a special steerable rear dolly. A day later, the penultimate girder, number 47, was lifted into place. Preparations to lift the final girder were accompanied with a little bit of ceremony. Topping out is an international tradition in the construction industry and it involves placing a tree on the final beam. You can find information in the description below the video. Before very long the final beam was lifted into place and firmly secured. On its face, the flags of the contractors involved in the steelworks and of the Iron Workers Union Local 765 were proudly displayed. 
we're not quite done because in the design of the bridge there's a 25 millimeter gap in the center and that has to be pulled together. This is achieved using powerful hydraulic hand jacks. You can see one in use here on the middle beam. I'll leave you with a few facts about the steel span. There are over 30,000 feet of weld, or 9,000 meters, 32,000 bolts, and it's 750 feet long, or 227 meters, with the thickest piece of steel, 75 millimeters. All of the steel was sourced in North America. I'll close with a look at the bridge today. If you made it this far, thank you very much and well done. Look out for more videos very shortly.